people do videos like this and they're like, oh, look at that. It looks blooming fantastic, doesn't it? And then if you actually go and zoom in, it's like, it's unacceptable. That bit looks really bad. Even looking at this footage now, the floor just does not look that bad. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the videos and images that the client took and were ultimately used in, in court. It, so it all turned a bit nasty. You were in here with a hammer, pushing I me and shoving me. I have a hammer. But I'll get into that shortly. Grouty, masticant material. Um, just a horrible, horrible feeling. Sand marks everywhere. Touches those lines there. Buffing marks here, as you can see, they are also present in many, many areas. The finish is just completely uneven. String of marking here where the lacquer hasn't, hasn't been applied properly. The floor's completely rough. I'm gonna be honest, it's rare to see a floor that's been done this badly, but um, even people doing their own floors, you know, amateurs, DIY floor sanders, I wouldn't expect it to be this bad. It really is in a bit of a state. Be careful who you hire. I thought I'd leave that cringy punchline in place just as a punishment for even saying it. There was a bit of a problem with this job and had I known, I wouldn't have taken it on. There were loose blocks everywhere. Um, I thought that because it had already been done by someone else, that at least the blocks would have been glued down, but I didn't want to assume, so I asked the customer, Hillal, if there were any loose blocks, and he said no. I guess he didn't know what I was looking for. Normally, I only travel long distances for work that is very straightforward and predictable, and that means no repair work. Throughout the whole job, these blocks just kept popping up. I mean, even just before we started lacquering, it just gets to a point where you just have to start cracking into it and getting that surface off. As you can see, there's some bits that haven't been sanded by the sander. It's leaving these little patches in the floor. And that's basically where the previous guy has sanded dips into the floor. Um, so we're just trying to take the top layer off and, and get down to that without sanding into that dip and maintaining that dip in place, if that makes sense. So we're just taking the layers down until we're back to a, a flat, smooth surface. Ah yes, more blocks popping up. And Adam being really messy with the glue. And more blocks popping up again, and more. Yeah, I, the previous guy that sanded the floor actually spent two weeks doing it and yet he didn't glue down any of these blocks. I understand he did these repairs, 
like he, the, the blocks that you can see closest to the, the bottom of the camera there going across. He glued all that down and he glued down the blocks around the fireplace, but he didn't glue down any blocks in the middle of the floor. I, we, we didn't find any traces of glue, so he, he didn't even attempt to glue down loose blocks in the middle of the floor. He spent two weeks on it and yet we glued down tons and tons of blocks and we were only there for two days and yet we sanded it and finished it to a, a much higher quality than he did. I think I'm going to get a lot of heat from uh, from the, the the professionals watching this because uh, of my my bad method of, of sorting all this. But it was actually after this job that we switched to tapping every single block over the whole floor to make sure that they were all just to mark every single one that needed gluing down, so we could get it all done in one go. I just couldn't believe how many just kept popping up, kept popping up. And as you can tell, we have started to work late into the evening because as I said, I mean, we, were, we had an Airbnb booked and uh, we only had two days to do this and we've spent a load of the first day just gluing down blocks um, and we had to get it done in these two days. Today is the beginning of day two uh, on this fix up job. And uh, I'm in Surrey, uh, just to the south, southwest of of London so uh, more and more people are finding me through YouTube and asking me to come across the country and, and do their floors so um, normally we serve Hertfordshire and Cambridgeshire and Bedfordshire and North London but um, as I say more and more people are finding me through YouTube Hopefully we're going to finish today and it's going to look really good. Right, this is probably the last video that I'm going to be able to capture. We are about to put the final coat down. It's also dark, so I don't know if I'm going to get any final pictures for this. Thankfully, Hillel, the client, actually took some videos to show what the floor looked like once it was done the next day, which I'm about to show you. Ultra matte finish but it will look more full with that final coat. I just want to thank Ben and Adam for putting life back into our floors. Um, ben might explain it more in his video, but we had a company come out and do an absolutely terrible job the first time around, uh, and one I didn't think could be fixed. Um, but those two worked tirelessly, uh, and they've achieved perfection here. So here's some video from the morning after they finished of uh, what the floors look like now. Well, I guess that all's well that ends well, 
but uh, unfortunately for Hillel, this wasn't where it ended. So this was all going to court. Um, Hillel had some videos of the guy trying to push his way into the house and rip up the flooring. Um, the police were called. It was, uh, it was a bit of a debacle. And I covered the whole thing in my last video, which you can watch right here. <laughs> 